folks, my name is Kyle Forsberg, I'm with Major Web, and I've got a question for you guys. Who remembers how awful it was to use that administrative software to schedule for classes and track your enrollment progress? Yeah? A couple of you? There's a few problems that this software uh, brings about, and one of them is that registering for classes, it sucks, it's rough, it's, it's, it's yucky, it's not fun to play with. Students and advisors are really frustrated, it's dirty, it just doesn't work. I mean, it works, but it doesn't work as well as it could. College is already getting too expensive, so that you know the question that isn't asked that results in a student having to come back for an extra semester is a, is a price that we can't pay. Existing enterprise scheduling software is a premium price software, but it isn't delivering premium results. How do we know this? This is the current interface. It's kind of rough. It's, we, don't wanna, we don't wanna deal with that anymore. The cost of coming back to school for an extra year or two is astronomical when you talk about how much money you're actually going to have, to have to add on to your monthly student loan payments. It's ridiculous. Shouldn't this software be clean and intuitive? Shouldn't it answer questions before we even ask them? And shouldn't it be interactive and reactive in real time to the adjustments that students make? And shouldn't it not make me want to die when I, when I use it? <laughs> We're introducing today Major Web because shouldn't your interface be centralized and have every part available? And shouldn't it be drag and drop accessible? And shouldn't it be, auto, shouldn't it automatic, automatically generate class schedule options for you? Major Web does this. Our value proposition is that it frees up advisors and answers questions that they can't. It shows where majors, minors, and programs overlap to get the most out of your time in school. It increases user satisfaction. Students will no longer be complaining that their inter interface is ugly and complicated and there's little bits and pieces to manage. It's intuitive for the user and for the administrator on their end, and it's going to be a, a fraction of the price of the, mo uh, the module that, say, companies like PeopleSoft sells, because they sell modular enterprise software. We're not looking to take on Goliath. We're just looking to shine his shoes a little bit. We're taking on one of those modules. There are our market consists of 4,500 degree granting institutions in the United States alone. Two separate main software ent entities cater to these groups. PeopleSoft is one, the other is Banner, and we know that PeopleSoft has been adding 200 customers a year, and, and schools are shelling out a lot of money for this, okay? We are not trying to reinvent the wheel. We are trying to change one module of this system to make it easier for the student because it's, we know that it's frustrating for them and it's complicated. Our monetization strategy is that we would license the software, um, at, at software as a service to the school, the consumer being the actual students. We're selling to the university with a pricing structure that's tiered by student body size. And with no capital expenditures on our part right now, the primary factor of, of our cost structure is the need for designers and developers, okay? Our rollout plan is this. We have a working, ap working application three to four months from now with, with a plan to run a pilot locally in different universities for the summer 2014 semester. It's lower traffic, it's easier to manage. Enhancing it for fall 2014 for the new in class of incoming freshmen. We've tested it, we've done surveys, we've talked to over 100 people we know the want is, we know the need is there. We've got people within the university that have validated what we're doing. They would like to see it. They would like to use it. We know the students need it because they're sick of what we've got right now. We've, we've had, we found that people would find it very helpful. The need for it, the want for it is there. The truth is we're, we're taking a system that isn't broken, but we're making it easier, more accessible, more intuitive, and better for the student. We're major web. Thank you. Judges, your three minutes starts now. Right, it's difficult to get all that data, and the way that we see the, so the customer is the university, the consumer is the student. If the student is happy, the university is happy. They want their students to succeed and get the most out of their experience. And if this software shows them that for just, to come back and take two more classes could get you this minor that you didn't even realize you had, 
it's directing you down an optimized course saying, why take elective B or elective A when elective B counts towards your major, but it also counts towards the small list of certificate requirements. Tack on an extra piece of, uh, of, of degree to, to your uh, diploma when you leave. As far as getting the data, yes, we, we, it's difficult to get data. The video is publicly available. To do it efficiently, we could use the university's API. We've talked to the people at the university. Um, we know that there are people on the inside that, that want to do it, that have tried to do it. They don't have the time to do it. They'd love to pass the buck off onto someone who is willing to put the time in and work with the software, because we're developing the software already. We've got it working on the back end. You saw the front end, and that's, you know, once we get access to that API and easier access to that university data, it makes our job 10 times easier. Yes? Just talk to us what you actually built this weekend, just for us to get an understanding. I know you explained it before. Sure. Well, right now, because the, the public data is there, but it's very messy and it's very decentralized, so we have a program that takes the, the program requirements from two majors, a minor, and a certificate, and shows you uh, based on, by entering in what you've already taken, it shows you what you still need to take, what you haven't taken, and what you're currently taking. It optimizes those results by overlapping them with, say, computer science and engineering to show where they overlap, because why wouldn't you take classes that count towards two different majors if it lets you to, to double major faster? I mean, it takes five years to do a four-year degree. Might as well get the most from your time there. Do universities feel like they're paying for this now, or is this wrap to do accreditation, accounting, other things that they do where now this would be an additional spend from a budgetary standpoint? The university pays for this enterprise software that consists of modules that do everything from HR for the university to scheduling to enrollment. This is a piece of that. They don't need to buy the entire enterprise software that, say, PeopleSoft is selling them. So by making the conscious choice, to instead of going with this aspect, going with uh, of, it, of scheduling an enrollment, choosing another source that is easier that the students prefer. I mean, sure. Why why doesn't why wouldn't a university want to provide services that the students would prefer and that the students um, and that would be easier and more intuitive for the student? Do you know does PeopleSoft have an API that you can tap? Yes. For yes, but. For a lot for a mobile, we, if it, it wasn't as simple as tapping in and getting all the course, the undergraduate course catalog, they they've got it somewhere. They're hiding it. They're not making it easy to find, um, <laughs> but it exists. That's all the time we got. Thank you.